Hey, what's up guys, it's Hedge. As you know, I did an update to my video quality presets and as a follow-up to that update, as promised, I'm doing a quality comparison between my settings and the most popular settings on YouTube. So what I did is, well, firstly what I did is I recorded some uncompressed gameplay uh, using the, here it is, using the RGB24 codec with Bandicam. This is the same thing I'm using to record this video uh, so it's lossless, so you can really see the difference. Um, so basically what happened is I, um, you know, I, I recorded a bunch of videos from different games using this, um, using this uncompressed codec. I loaded them up into Vegas and then I rendered them according to my settings and according to the settings of Akul, this guy right here, and Cole Mercer HD, who are like number one for all the search results regarding this topic. Um, and keep in mind, I used their latest presets. I didn't just use their old video. I used their very latest uh, presets, and then I compared them with mine. And as expected, the um, my video quality was way better. So what I did is then after um, after uploading the videos, you can see them here. So this is these are their videos, and this is mine. This is another one of mine. And you can see the the thumbnails are different, and that's because YouTube is treating their video differently from my video. Um, it's just a different codec and different thing, but um, ultimately what it means is I get better quality and let me back that up with, uh, with some proof. So what I did is I downloaded those videos without compression, just exactly what was in YouTube. I downloaded it and then I, I'll put some screenshots of it. And then I compared these screenshots and you can see, on, you know, I have a blog page for this so you can check it out. It's uh, a bit more detailed here, but basically you can click on these and see what's going on. Um, but I'll guide you through it because here I got Photoshop and we can zoom in and see some cool stuff. So uh, first things first, uh, this is a Star Citizen Blacks, the Blacks in video. So uh, with standard Sony Vega settings, the Blacks get washed out. So you can see here, you can't see these strips. Let me zoom in so you can see better. Um, now there's a, a black strip here and a black strip here and a black strip here. And they're like belts for the holster basically. However, you can't see that. On these two, uh, on these two settings, it just blurs in with a shadow. So blacks are way better and way more visible. Shadows are way more visible with my settings. Now, secondly, we go over to this, um, and again, keep in mind that it's being recompressed again. So you can see the full high quality screenshots here. What you can do is you can click on this, then you can click view full size, and it'll give you exactly what it is. And then you can use your control and your mouse wheel to zoom in and see what's going on. Uh, but stick with the video maybe this will work out we'll see how it looks after render but basically um here's another thing so this is ground blur this was from grim dawn which is a third person game and when you move around basically the ground blur, you know the ground moves with you and oftentimes this blurs uh because it's a whole lot of information you know it's an entire ground texture moving so as you can see mercer and akul are way more blurry than mine. In mine, you can uh, you see there's no blurriness right here in the grass, and the rocks stand out much better. Whereas here they have these unnaturally dark shadows, and that's not how the game looks. Um, so again, shadows are much nicer, and the way uh, moving ground texture is treated is way better. And let me follow up with this over here. So this was from Toxic. This was uh, this was like this screenshot basically. Um, and you know, I took it at the same time uh, with all of them. Um, so basically, this is Mercer, this is a cool, and this is Hedge. This is mine. Uh, and then one thing to keep in mind is, um, so a cool's uh, final file size after vendor was 177 megabytes. Cole Mercer HD, I'll fix that, uh, was 301 megabytes and mine was 209 so it's not like i'm even doing a way higher quality so i did it at 12 megabytes per second exactly like youtube wants um and what we have here is let's go back to photoshop uh what you have here is a cool because his file size was smaller um this is just completely blurry and just lots of artifacts and absolutely not the best quality um and then mercer here it's a bit better than a cool but again compared to what i got it's way worse because there's all these little squares. Let's zoom in on the, you see there's, it's just so blurry. You can't see the, the lines between the bricks. And then you go onto mine and the lines between the bricks are very, very easily seen. And what's nice, one thing about YouTube is if you stay still, it shows a very high quality thing. But if you're moving around um, like I was in the screenshot, you know, because I was in mid jump, 
Um, so on the screenshot, everything gets blurred. Um, but when you're looking at this on the video, you should be able to see this pretty nice. So anyway, as you can see, wall blur is much better on, uh, on my presets. Wall blur and ground blur are way better on my presets. Um, now, another thing to take a look at it, this is a very, th this, this shows it very nice. So um, let's take a look at, so this is Mercer's um, settings right here. And you can see that there's like a huge chunk missing out of this straight line, right? It's just missing. It's not there. And then you take a look at a cool setting. And uh, what do we got? We got an even huger chunk and even worse quality because his was lower, uh, lower bit rate. Um, now you take a look at mine. And, you know, I'm not going to say it's perfect because YouTube does meth mess with it a bit. But you, I, I have more or less of a straight line. And it's just a little, what is it? It's like four pixels or six pixels missing, right? Whereas over here, it's, it's like a huge chunk. All right, that's like one, two, three, four, five. That's like 10 pixels missing. So much better on mine. This is uh, red on blue. Um, and then we take a look at it again, something very similar. So this is text. And one thing I notice when I use uh, Marillus Action or Bandicam or anything that a hardware encodes my video, um, it will be blurry before I even put it into Vegas. So my source media gets blurry. But because I recorded uncompressed, the image on the uncompressed file was perfect. You couldn't see any of these blur, of this blur. Now, after um, after rendering, you know, and after putting it on YouTube, this stuff gets messed up. But on my settings, you can still you still make out the letters pretty nice. It looks okay. But here, uh, on a cool, it's really blurry. There's some weird blurs going on right here. And then um, same thing with Mercer, but not to the same extent. Uh, but basically, text is more readable with my settings most of the time well yeah almost all the time I, I haven't seen a time when it's not uh, now lastly we can take a look at this uh, screenshot from um, from Elite Dangerous uh, right by the Sun and what you can see is on Mercer's and on our cools there are these squares and you'll be able to see it if you pull up the image right here uh, and take a look at it, it it'll show better um, but anyway, uh, what I'm trying to say is there are these squares. There's these big pixels, big artifact squares. Uh, and, and here they are on a cool thing too. But on mine, I don't have squares. I have triangles, right? Isn't that interesting? So it looks way better. You see, you can kind of see all these steps here, all these squares. And, and, but you don't really see that as much here. So uh, it's evident, evident that my settings are way better than these guys. Um, so... You can take a look at the video here. I've got them linked at the bottom of the post. Uh, and they'll also be linked in the description if you'd like to see the video. And you can look at the screenshots here as well and compare them and see what's really going on. Um, you know, and again, when you're looking at them like that, this is uh, not full quality. But if you click view full image, that will show you exactly what's going on. So that's it for this video. Um, check back next time. I'm going to compare... Uh, 12 Mbps versus 24 Mbps and see if raising the video quality above YouTube suggestions uh, does anything with my settings. And lastly, consider subscribing to my video editing playlist if you don't want to subscribe to my channel uh, because I do some gaming stuff. But the video editing playlist is just for videos and you can click uh, up above uh, and, and see the best render settings tutorial that I referenced in this video. Uh, that's it. Take care until next time. This was Hedge, Hedge Direct.